So we'll begin with the sound of this bell as we often do. Making a, an intention to let that sound invite us inward. And gently closing the eyes if that's supportive for turning the attention toward the present moment or keep your eyes open with a soft downward gaze. And if it's helpful, you might try taking a few deep breaths. And after the last full exhale, then allowing the body to return to its own organic, natural rhythm of breath. and allowing this settling process to complete in body and mind. The beginning of a sit is a good time to check the attitude in the mind. The energy and the attitude. So you might notice if things are kind of squirrely and hyperactive in the mind, lots of thoughts popping in and out? Or is it sluggish and kind of slow, foggy? Or is there a sense of brightness, clarity? It may be moving between those states, a little bit of one and a little bit of another, and just knowing this. You know, if the mind is restless, simply knowing this is restlessness. If it's sleepy or sluggish, then just knowing what are the qualities of sloth and torpor. These things that tend to hinder clear seeing. And it's no different with the body. We can notice the level of energy in the body. If the body feels real kind of slumpy and tired, or if it's agitated and restless, or if there's a sense of security and calm, relative calm. And we're just very interested in meeting ourselves wherever we are. open to what is. Curious about the changes, the continuous changes happening. The comings and goings in the body of sensations. Feeling things in the body, tingling, pressure, temperature. Ease or tension. These sensations arise, stay for a little while, and then fade. Similarly, 
if you open the ear door to anchor on sounds, resting the attention on hearing, you'll notice that sounds come and go. Some sounds are very short, some are continuous. There are differences in volume, pitch. Some sounds are very close in. The sound of this voice. Some sounds are far away at a distance. We're simply receiving sounds it's a way to stabilize the attention. You may begin to notice that thoughts and thinking are exactly the same, and that they come and go. A thought passes through and then disappears. You can look directly at your mind and see thoughts forming, having their time and then dropping away. Look directly at your mind, look directly at thinking. And if there's a lot of thinking, many, many thoughts, simply noting, well, thinking. Whatever you're attending to, whether it's thoughts, sounds, sensations, the breath, remembering that it's not personal. These are not things you are making happen. You're not deciding to have these thoughts. You're not making these sounds happen. It's not personal, it's nature. And you can bring awareness to an anchor if you choose to practice in that way. To train the mind to stay where you want it to stay. Once you feel stable, you might open out into a choiceless kind of awareness perhaps aware of awareness itself. Expanding into spacious awareness to know what it is you're knowing.
So we'll continue in silence for a few minutes. Just keeping an interest in present moment by moment.
Resting back in conscious, spacious awareness. No matter what is arising to be known, a feeling, a sensation, a sound, a thought. Awareness can hold it all. Nothing to do about what you're experiencing. Simply being with it. Watching the changes, the inner movements. Continuing this flow of experience. Can it be a relief? to do nothing. I'm receiving the sound of the bell. Thank you for joining midweek meditation. Hope to see you next Wednesday again at 1230 Eastern. May you thrive.